Hello grade 10s, I hope you have your thinking caps on today as we are going to learn how to calculate perimeter, area and volume. Let's begin by looking at some definitions and formulae before we do some calculations. The perimeter of a shape is the line enclosing the shape, that is, the distance or length around the shape. The perimeter is measured in millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. The area of an object is a measurement of how much space the area covers. The area is measured in square millimeters, square centimeters, square meters, or square kilometers, depending on the size of the area. Let us look at the formulae you will need to calculate perimeter and area. Remember that a square is a four-sided figure with all sides the same length and all angles equal to 90 degrees or right angles. In a square, the parameter is the sum of all the sides or simply the length of one side multiplied by four. The area of a square is the length of one side squared. That means it is multiplied by itself. Let's look at an example. Here is a square with the length of each side equal to 48 centimeters. We can calculate the perimeter by adding 48 four times or by multiplying 48 by 4. The answer is thus 192 centimeters. The area of this square is calculated by multiplying 48 by itself, that is 48 squared. So the area of the square is 2,304 centimeters squared. Let's now look at a rectangle. Remember that a rectangle is a four-sided figure with opposite sides the same length and all the angles are equal to 90 degrees, that is, right angles. In a rectangle, the perimeter is equal to the sum of all the sides. A shorter method to find the perimeter is to add double the length to double the breadth. The area of a rectangle is simply calculated by multiplying the length by the breadth. Let's look at an example of working with a rectangle. In this rectangle, the length of the sides is equal to 22 and 37 centimeters. Remember, that opposite sides of the rectangle are equal. We calculate the parameter by adding the lengths of all the sides together. So we add 22 plus 37 plus 22 plus 37. We can change this to 2 times 22 plus 2 times 37. This gives us 44 plus 74 which is 118 centimeters. The area is found by multiplying the length by the breadth. So we we'll multiply 22 by 37 to find that the area is 814 centimeters. Now I'd like to discuss these kinds of measurements for triangle shapes. There are not many times that we'll need to calculate the perimeter or area of a triangle but a triangular piece of garden might be one of them. You might need to calculate the perimeter to replace the edging of the garden, or you might have to calculate the area if you want to plant something new here. To find the perimeter of a triangle, we just add the lengths of the sides together. To calculate, we have to multiply. To calculate area, First understand the perpendicular height of a triangle. It is the length of the line drawn at the right angles to the base to the vertex opposite the base. The area of a triangle is the length of the base multiplied by the perpendicular height and then divided by 2. This is the same as multiplying by half. Let's look at an example of working with a triangle. Here's a triangle with the length of the base equal to 85 millimeters and a perpendicular height of 73 millimeters. To work out the area of this triangle, we multiply the length of the base by the perpendicular height and also multiply it by a half. 
So we see half times 85 times 73, which is 3,102,5 millimeters. It's also possible to calculate the perimeter of a circle as well as the area of a circle. As a practical example, think of a circular patch of garden where you might need the perimeter measurement for building a new engine or wall. You might need to know the area in order to cover the ground with strong plastic to prevent weeds from growing. There are formulae to calculate both the parameter and the area of a circle. The formulae use two values, namely the diameter and a constant called pi. Let's see. The diameter is equal to double the radius in a circle, and the constant we call pi is estimated to be 3,142. In a circle, the perimeter has a special name, the circumference. To calculate the circumference, we multiply the length of the radius by pi and then double it. This means that it is pi times the diameter. The area of a circle is pi times the square of radius. Let's look at an example of working with a circle. We will use a large circle in a field with a diameter of 12 kilometers. We can calculate the circumference or perimeter of the circle using pi times 12. So it's 3,142 times 12, which is 37,704 kilometers. To calculate the area of a circle, we need the length of the radius. Remember, the radius is equal to half the diameter, so it must be 6 kilometers. The area is thus pi multiplied by the radius squared, that is, the radius multiplied by itself. We calculate 3,142 times 6 times 6 and find that the area is 113,112. Rounded off, this is 113,11 square kilometers. To calculate the area of a circle, we need to square the radius and then multiply it by pi. Now for some practice. We are going to practice using the perimeter formula. And in the lesson after this, there is an example of the area formula. Swongile buys a new house and needs to do some renovations. She decides to improve the security. She wants to install an electric fence around the property. It is rectangular in shape with a length of 50 meters and a breadth of 26 meters. The electric fence she installs has four strands of wire. How much wire must she buy for the contractor? In diagrams, we can see the dimensions of the property and the type of electric fence. First, we need to calculate the perimeter of the property. To do this, we need to calculate the sum of double the length and double the breadth. This is 116 plus 52, which equals 168 meters. To find the amount of wire that needs to be used, we must multiply the perimeter by 4 because the electric fence has 4 strands of wire. So it's 4 times 168, which amounts to 672 meters in total. That's quite a lot of wire, isn't it? But at least she knows how much to order. She could also use this quantity to work out if she has enough in her budget for all this wire. Can you think how she will calculate the total cost? Of course, it's pretty easy once you know the total quantity and the unit price, which is the price of a single meter. So Siwongile will multiply the 672 meters by the cost of one meter of the wire she needs. Now you will be able to go to the measurement task video and be able to attempt further problems relating to perimeter and area. Thank you for your attention, grade 10s. More information can be found on our website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. 
Good luck for your tests and exams. Goodbye.